Welcome to another guide to new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It is Friday the 15th of March and we've got two new mods out today. Um, impressive stuff, I have to say. Um, we're going to start off with this right in front of us. This is the Shooter Marker Siwa 180 trailer. This is by 20mm Normandy, featuring JD7530 Chris. Um, this is nice. This is a, um, a forage wagon, for all intents and purposes, from around 1998 through to 2010. Um, and it's a very, very nice mod. Lots of great detail on it. There's a couple of things I like about this. Price being one of them. Um, and capacity is fantastic. As I always say on my guide to videos, um, it's about those options and having more of the same thing in game but slightly different versions of is what gives you that variety, gives you those options. We'll have a quick look in store at what's available. So we are going, oh, uh, we're on trailers already, aren't we? Fantastic. So let's scroll across until we get to it. At the end here, the Siwa 180. It's got a 45,000 litre capacity and it's a forage wagon for all intents and purposes. Um, it will use up four slots, which isn't a huge amount either, and it only costs 25,000. That's for a 45,000 litre capacity trailer. It will take wood chips, it will take um, chaff, it will take grass, straw, hay, silage, sugar cane. Um, put it into perspective, let's scroll across at the other options in the same sort of category. Look at the forage trailers. You've got the Seaworth 720, which is the modern version of it, which is 48,500 litres capacity, so a little bit bigger, but it's 55 grand. Uh, if we go down, I don't think there's a smaller one, is there? There's the larger one. Or did I dream that? Was that a mod? <laughs> anyway, but we've got these other ones here. Uh, the Field Liner, the Anna Burger, and we've got the Chrome TX 69,000, 72,000. So it's a very, very, very good price. Competitive is the word I would use. Um, it only requires, uh, what horsepower was it? It doesn't say, but a medium to large-ish. How did I manage to come off that? Uh, tractor is what you're going to need to be honest with you when that's fully loaded right so customize options available if we zoom in a little bit we can change the rim color to a gray or to a white we can have trelleborgs we can have michelins or we can have the BKTs. Now the BKTs are the ones I think that were modelled by um, JD7530 Chris. Um, I like them, a nice chunky look to them. Almost kind of like flotation tyres, they're quite large but a little bit more knobbly. So uh, very very cool indeed. There's no option to change colour or anything like that. Um, the BKTs I think we can have standard or white. <sighs> Oh, those wides look brilliant. I do like those. Very, very cool indeed. So, what I'm going to do very, very quickly, before I lose my voice, is grab a tractor, because you can't buy this particular bit of land we're on. You won't let me show you, but if we just lose out here very quickly, past all the other paraphernalia. So as far as unloading goes, L1, R1, triangle, the belts and chain move on the back, very nicely animated. Close that down again. Lights, indicators, very nice bit of kit, nice mod indeed. From 20mm Normandy featuring JD7530 Chris. 
The next of our mods today is this. Uh, this is the Man IT Runner. Um, this I use I, every now and again. I say game changer. I don't mean I mean game changer as in this will change your game and the way you play it. And you know, um, not overall. The game hasn't changed itself. You know what I mean. Um, this is very very nice indeed. This is by. I need to get these digits right. This is F A two eight five six three four. Bart Team NLD Farmers. Um, this will use 20 slots, but you'll understand why. Um, it's an incredibly neat and tidy and detailed mod. Incredible. Loads of great detail on this. There's a lot to like about it, I have to say. We'll have a look in the store in a minute. Now, when I installed this, because I didn't have the IT runner pack installed, it will automatically install it. And that's the beauty of anything as part of the IT runner family. Um, you can get to use all this kind of stuff, which is rather awesome. And as new mods come out for the IT runner packs, in FS17 there were quite a few of them. It makes this kind of multi-tool very, very useful bit of kit. So we'll have a quick look in store first. Now I say man um, IT runner. You can say M-A-N, it's entirely up to you. It can be said either way, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, but if we have a look in trucks, now here's the thing. It's quite pricey. The MAN TGS 18500 4x4 there is 130,000, but that's a standard truck. 500 horsepower, 17 slots. If we scroll up till we get to it. So the MAN TGS 18500 IT runner is 180,000. So it's another 50 grand more. But you get 50 grand's worth of equipment because the IT runner trailer is 56,000 or 53,000, something like that. So you're getting that all built in into one bit of kit. Now, obviously, this one doesn't have a fifth wheel, so you can't pull semi trailers, um, but it does have a trailer hitch on the back of it. I've already said it's 20 slots if you're going to buy it. So we'll have a quick look into the store. Um, and there are quite a few options available. As I just said, we had a look on the one outside, but it has a trailer hitch on the back with all the various hydraulic attachments, etc., etc. So you can hook up other trailers on the back of it, which is absolutely brilliant. We can change the main colour, which it will go to, let's put it on a yellow, shall we? Which is that bulk of the, the vehicle there. We can change the rim colour. So if you wanted to match it or you want to do a contrasting colour, it's entirely up to you. That's hideous, but it kind of proves the point. Um, then we've got design colour, which is the rest of it. So we could again go with the same contrast if we wanted to go. That's disgusting. I don't know why I picked that. <laughs> but you see what I mean? I mean, I'm picking bold colours because you can see how they stand out. But getting a colour scheme to mix and match whatever you want your setup to be like. Um, I like the fact there's a lot of options here. Now, as far as wheels go, we've got trailer boards or lizards. Those are the two options available. But very, very nice indeed. And I think if you go for all of it, it comes in a... Is it 184,000, I think it is? 184,800 depending on what colour you pick and if you change more than one colour and that kind of thing. So, those are the options available. Now, we'll have a look in camp. We'll start it up. We've got beacons. And we've got a beacon on the back here. Very cool. Lights to the front. These are phenomenal. The work lights at the back. Because it's a hook lift, you need to be able to see what you're hooking up and then we've got even better main beams at the front so plenty of lighting options which is really cool turn those off from inside cabs very detailed very tidy lights come on the dash and then we've got our indicators sharp on the dashboard as well Mirrors, incredibly useful, nice size as well. That one's a little bit far off to see, um, but we have got a pretty good view there. You can actually see the hook here at this bit. Obviously, you can't see any further. I love the curtain on the side there. It's um, very, very nice indeed. 
So, operating is the same as any other hook lift on PlayStation L1 and X. We'll take the hook back and unfold it. Now the IT runner pack has got quite a few options available. Um, just quickly jump out. Obviously this isn't a review of the IT runner pack, but we have got a muck spreader, we've got a, a standard container, that's a Bergman, that's a farm tech, so you won't find it under the IT runner. Um, we've got slurry tank, there's the um, bale trailer, there's the log trailer, there's the um, grain container, there's the dump trailer. Um, there's quite a lot of options. Like I say, it's what makes it a kind of a bit of a multi-tool. It's uh, very, very cool indeed. So we hook up. Now I know previous incarnations of this in FS17 had issues and were seemingly fine when they were first hooked up but in driving around turning sharp corners or when loaded there was a lot of movement and they would shift around. That doesn't seem to be moving at all on the back of there. It's very neat and tidy, it's holding on well. And what you often find as well with these is when you unload them they can sometimes catch on the floor and scuff and that kind of thing. But that is buttery smooth. Very nice indeed. Now, as you might have already seen by the thumbnail, I've done a Mr. Silly P conversion, so I've got Mr. Silly P green. So that's my design colour is black, rims green, and then the other design um, I've gone with Mr. Silly P green. Now, this is what the other thing I like about this a lot. Um, these trailers that hook up, or these containers that hook up, if we have a quick look in store, and this is just a kind of additional, this is something you probably, you know, it's handy to know, um, and why the IT runner is a very handy bit of kit to have. When we scroll across to these, we've got these two here. We've got the IT runner grain container, which is a 45,000 litre grain container, and we'll take all of those things there. And it's only 10 grand. The Bergman HT50 will take all of those things as well, but that's 28,000. So you could get two of these at 45,000 for the price, well, less than the price of one of those. But, and that's the thing, if you get two of these, that gives you a 90,000 litre shifting capacity. If you go with two of those, that gives you 96,000 litres you can shift. Because if you put one on the back of here, and then using the trailer hook, hook up to an IT runner trailer and have them both together, you're looking at 90 to 96,000 litres you can shift in any one go. That is pretty good. I like that option a lot. I just thought I'd, you know, just to... Not that the point needs proving, but I just thought, you know, why not, seeing as we're here? doesn't have rear, rear wheel steering on this one but the turning circle is actually pretty good now I don't know how that's going to be when you lift lifted uh, when it's loaded up but sometimes you would get as well when these things would load up the front axle would lift off the floor I didn't notice any of that then that said it's not fully la laden loaded whatever um, but if we back this up now and hook up to the IT run a trailer behind That's good. 90,000 litre capacity right there. And like I say, if you hook two of these up, that'll give you 96,000 litre capacity. <laughs> that is not to be sniffed at. This is a brilliant mod. Very, very cool. Um, it's, it's been needed. Like I said, we've got the IT runner trailer. We've got the IT runner pack. There's going to be more stuff that comes out. Of course there is. Um, but I like this a lot. I like the customization. I know there's, there will be that kind of 
a configuration option would be cool if you could have it as an IT runner or a fifth wheel maybe but then there are trucks already in game with fifth wheel so I think it's a hook lift truck very very cool piece of kit so this is by um, FA285634 Bart Team NLD Farmers very very cool indeed I hope you have found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching